Hello and welcome to this Blender tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to make this exact scene right here. We're going to cover how to make a very simple chocolate bar with this piece broken off like this and some some pieces flying off. I make it look like a, a commercial for a chocolate and we'll also add some smaller details in our scene and we're going to add some lighting as well and a little background here make our chocolate bar stand out and we're also going to make an engraving in the in the chocolate bar itself and that image is located in the description so please go ahead and download that make sure you're on blender 2.8 or above highly recommend downloading 2.9 you can do that at blender.org the link is also in the description. Let's go ahead and start off with a new scene here. Hit File, New and General. So we're in our default scene here. We're going to delete the, the cube and hit Shift A. I'm going to add the base of our little piece of chocolate. Hit Tab, hit E to extrude, left click to apply. And then we're going to hit I to inset the face. And something like this. And we're going to hit G and set on our keyboard and just drag upwards like this. Hit A to select everything, Control B. And we're going to bevel the edges on of our chocolate piece of chocolate here. So something like this, and I'll scroll one, two, three times. Something like that. Hit tab to go out of edit mode. Right click to shade smooth. Now we have our first piece here, all that's left to do is make it more rectangular shape. Hit 7, hit tab. I'm going to choose uh, change to wireframe mode, hit Z on your keyboard, hit wireframe. And I'm going to choose the, the vertex here, hit B and box select these vertices right here. Hit G and Y and just drag this upwards. Something like that is good. I'm going to hit tab again. Now we're going to hit Z again and hit render view. So now we can start looking at our engraving on our chocolate. Uh, we're going to divide the windows, go to the right side here, left click and drag like that. And I'm going to choose my shader editor. While having my piece of chocolate selected, I'm going to hit the materials tab, hit new. And I'm cups my um, principal BSDF. So I'm going to choose a base color. So I'm going to input my chocolate color here. You can find the hex code in the description. And that's 4E1500. And uh, I'm going to drag down the roughness to about 250 along those lines right there. If we orbit around, you can see that our chocolate piece of chocolate is nice and reflective. Let's move this point lamp, hit G. Just going to drag it a bit closer. I'm going to hit 7 and hit tab and I'm going to actually UV unwrap this face already. So hit U and project from view. Now we have, if we hit tab again, we have like UV unwrapped our place where the C is going to be engraved in. So hit on the right side here, we're going to hit shift A and we're going to just search for image texture. Now while I'm doing this, uh, make sure I've said it before, make sure you have downloaded the C. We're going to use that now. So hit open and find the C in this tutorial. It's in the description. So I'm going to open that image and I'm going to hit shift A again. I'm going to search for a bump node and I'll left click and drag this normal value into the normal here. I'm going to drag this color to the height. Now you can see that we have some kind of weird, weird stuff going on here, uh, but that's just my UV unwrapping that is too big for the chocolate's face itself. So we have to adjust that. So we go to the right side here, we go to our UV editor and we'll choose the C chocolate and we'll go on the left side, hit tab. There we can see that this is the face that we want to put our 
C on, so hit A, scale that up, and now we can position the C in the center of this frame right here. So there you go. If we hit tab again there, you can see that we have our engraving. We have some artifacts going on here. That's just because of the resolution of the of the texture. So let's go back to our um, shader editor again. And let's see what we can do here to make this pop a bit more. As of now, to me it seems that the, um, the shape of the C is like sticking upwards. I want it to be engraved um, down in the chocolate. So I'm going to hit invert. And I'm going to pull the strength down to 500. This is fine. This is, uh, we can clearly see the, the letter in our, our chocolate here. So let's go ahead and make the whole bar. While having this selected, we'll just go to the modifiers tab and we're going to add an array modifier. I'm going to add three in the count section here, we're going to add three. So we have uh, one, two, three on the X axis. And I think we'll add five on the Y axis. And uh, we're going to just scroll in here and pull these pieces a bit closer together. So I'm going to drag this and hold down shift and just drag it carefully until the like chocolate intersects right there. Now we're going to add another modifier to make the whole plate of chocolate or the bar. So hit array again. And now we're going to choose the Y axis. So hit zero there and hit one in the Y axis. And I'm going to count to one, two, three, four, five. Five rows of chocolate here. And we can also do the same thing and on this side, I'm going to decrease this to whatever number we have here, 0 0.980, 0 0.980. Now it looks like a single piece of a bar chocolate. So let's go ahead and start setting up our scene. So I like to have my camera view in the right here. So I'm going to go to 3D viewport. I'm going to hit zero and I'm going to hit set and go to render view. Now I'm going to click my camera here. 7, G, and I'm just going to drag this to the middle of the scene here. Hit Alt-R to reset the rotation, Rx and 90. And then we need to put our chocolate bar to stand upright. So hit Rx and 90 on that as well. And we'll just pull our camera back quite a bit to make the, the chocolate like in center of the, the frame here. We also want some some air around it because we're going to rotate it and we're going to make like a whole scene for it. So now is a good time to start lighting our single piece of chocolate here. I'm going to put the, the chocolate on the right side here on G. I'm going to just pull it to the center of my frame here. So let's go ahead and add some area lamps. So hit shift A. I'm going to add a light source and as area lamp we want this time. Hit three, hit R to rotate, G to grab, seven. And I'm just going to point this from the side here, hit S to scale, scale up quite large. And uh, we could just set it right there. <clears throat> now it's, uh, it's intensity is too low for it to even react to it. So I'm going to go to my, my object data panel here and go to power and just drag this up until I see some something happening on my uh, my render view here. So that's good. Starting to look like something. Just to do this beforehand, we're just going to rotate our chocolate a bit to the to the right here or towards the left rather and hit RR again and just tilt it backwards something like that. We're going to continue on, hit Shift D with our lamps here. And we'll pull this something like this. We can make one more lamp. Shift D for duplication. And we'll pull this a bit forward 
like that. Okay, so now we have some lighting going on. We can see the C and the chocolate very clearly. And now we can go ahead and add our little background. So hit Shift A, add a plane, hit RX and 90, scale that up to very large, hit G and Y, and just pull it backwards. So something like that. Uh, on the right side here, I'm just going to adjust the background. Hit this. So it's like covering the whole frame here. Now we can uh, put some color on our background. So I have a hex code for that in the description as well. And we'll just use the default shader here and we'll input 731 dB6. That's our, our little background color there. So let's go ahead and duplicate the light here to get some, some action going on also in the background here. So while having this selected, I'm going to hit three on my number pad and shift D. I'm just going to drag this so it's hitting the, the background. You can also hit set and go to a wireframe mode and see how close the lamp is to your background. So this is the background, this is the lamp here. You can adjust this accordingly. I think it's cool uh, to have like this circular light going on behind here just to make it look, to make it pop more, uh, make it more like a commercial would be. So next up we'll break off one of the pieces of chocolate here. So we have to apply our array modifier and that's very easy to do. Just make sure your chocolate bar is selected. Go to the array modifier and hit control A two times. And that's applying your modifiers. And now, so if we hit tab now, you can see that our chocolate bar is a single mesh and not a duplicated one. So I'm going to hit Alt A to deselect. Hit L on the piece that you want to break off. And I'm going to hit G. I'm going to rotate that piece. Hit RR to, um, to rotate the, um, the piece on all axes. Now you can see that you can kind of try to align the piece of chocolate to make it to give it some more shine to make it hit the light instead of like putting more lights to hit it we can very easily like control how it will look so i think we're we're at a cool point right here and then we're going to add our little pieces so hit shift a i'm going to do this very easy this time just go to icosphere and i'm going to go to this sub menu here and just pull down the subdivision and just left click and that's our that's the that's the base of our little piece so this one will add the same material so we can just while having this selected select the chocolate as well hit Control l and then link the material so now they have the same material i'm go also going to right click and shade this this one smooth it's going to be so so small that it doesn't matter if it looks bad right now hit s and x to just scale this on the x-axis s to scale again and now we have this little piece going here hit rr to rotate and i'm just going to place it i'm just going to the buttons i'm pressing is just g to grab moving it rr to rotate just finding a good spot for it to like break off i'm going to shift d again and do the same thing, RR. Maybe scale it down so they they look a bit different. I'm going to hide my overlays here so I can see properly my breakage going on here. Just go ahead and Shift D again. Maybe put some a bigger bigger piece right here. You can always go and adjust these. As you wish, G, R, R to rotate. I'm going to shift D again, S to scale. And this piece right here is going in this direction. Okay, so we have uh, our, our chocolate bar. We have our break off uh, piece here. I'm just going to add some small details, like some small bubbles to make the scene come alive more. 
I guess. So hit Shift A, and we're going to add a UV sphere. And uh, this UV sphere just shade smooth. While having the UV sphere selected, I'm going to hit Shift and click chocolate bar again, Control L, and link the materials once again. Now we have our little bubble, and uh, I can see now that our little bubble here has the the C engraving on it, but um, we can uh, we can quickly remove that by going to our little uh, shader tab here, duplicating our uh, material. Now we have our material three here. I'm just going to quickly go to my uh, my shaded editor and just pulling this out, so we won't see our uh, our C in the small bubbles there. So go back to 3D viewport, and you see that it's now just a simple mesh with no C in it. So next up, I'll just uh, duplicate this little sphere here around in my uh, my scene. Hit Shift D. And after hitting Shift D, I'm just going to pull it around and hit S to scale. Make this a bit more random. Um, Shift D again, S to scale. Make a bigger one. Maybe have some in front if you're if you want to do that. If I hit seven, I'm just going to to pull these bubbles. The y-axis so they're farther apart and not the same exact spot. Something like that. And I think that's uh, I think that's good for now. I think that's uh, more or less what I had in mind. Now, when you're happy with your scene, you can go ahead and hit F12 to render that image. And uh, we'll go to image and save as to save your image. So uh, in our uh, in our save tab here, you can go ahead and choose the the file format, PNG or JPEG. It's commonly used. PNG is a lossless format, so uh, if you want to save a PNG, I would recommend just doing for RGB, as we have no no transparency in this render. And then hit save, and that's um, and you're done. Okay, that's the end of the tutorial. Please like and subscribe and uh, leave a comment if you have any questions. I would love to answer them as well. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.